um, is very cheerful and very sunny, right? I'm the kind of person to where you could be having a really bad, bad day, and I can come in and make you and make you smile. I could bring some sunshine to your day. Coincidentally, that's my father's high school nickname as well, right? And we and we're very similar in our per personality, right? And so, I mean, I don't I don't go by that name anymore. I go by Anthony, right? But that name still is a part of who I am on the inside, right? So, it's, I, I smile and I laugh very easily, right? I don't I don't sit around moping. I don't smile all the all, all the time, but on the inside, I have a joy, right? But that joy is not dictated by circumstance, right? It's the joy that I feel God has given me that transcends all things to where on my, on my worst day, I'm depressed inside. I still have that joy on the inside, and I, I can still smile. On my worst day, I can still smile. I can still laugh, right? Because something inside of me has always been there that allows me to do that, right? So, I mean, I, I'm grateful that I have that part of me inside, right? What do you think we can do to help you? You personally or, or people in general? Um, both. We, uh, both. Well, I think what you're doing in itself is helping because you're giving me exposure, right? Somebody is gonna, gonna, is gonna see this show. Also, have a lot of people I write who don't have the financial means to make the trip to come see me, right? This at least gives them a chance to see my mannerisms, to hear the way I talk. Um, but exposure is what we need on death row because people, they can't care about what they don't know about. And once you present it to them and they see it, they have an opportunity to make a, make a choice. There is no, new, there is no neutrality. You're for it or, or against it. If you say you're neutral, then you're for it because you're not going to fight against it, right? So you are giving me the opportunity to tell a part of my story and giving me, I guess, I guess you could say, ex exposure. And that in itself helps. I wouldn't have the legal team that I have right now if it was not for someone out there giving me exposure and the right people seeing me read about my case and felt it was a worthy cause. Listen, and Emanuela told us that you are getting uh, closer to God since you're here in death row, and, and you're teaching her to right. do this. Well, this is very, very, it's a beautiful thing. Tell us about it. Well, I'm trying to, I try to spread the gospel anywhere I'm able, right? I don't force things down people's throat, but if I have an opening, I will share the gospel of Jesus Christ, right? Emmanuel is going through a, a period right now where she's learning the true gospel, right? And being that she knows I'm very well versed in the Bible, she comes to me with trust, knowing that I'm, I would never mis mislead her or lie to her about something so, so serious, right? And me, like I say, I used to actually minister when I was free in the Navy, right? So even though I fell away for a while, this is not something that's new to me, right? Now, I, I rededicated my life to God in 2004. And since that, since that time, I've really done what I can to grow and grow and grow. And part, and part of that growth is helping others, right? I've have, I have numerous people in my life who, who, who have had a spiritual awakening because of me, because of me ministering to them through my life, it's not about force to get down your down someone's throat, but they see the changes in my life, the way that I live, and it makes them want to know more about God themselves. And I feel that once the door is, is open, there's always a chance that the person will become a true born again believer, right? A lot of people have the wrong opinion of what it means to be a Christian, right? People think that because they go to church on Sundays and they go to confession, they're a Christian, right? But that's not what it's about, right? And if you read the Bible and you un, 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 understand this, right? And so I try to make it my point to lead people in the right direction, right? And that's what I'm doing right now with, with Emanuela, right? So that's where we're at, right? I'm, I'm happy that she felt comfortable enough to come to me with this 
because it's something very, very serious, right? Uh, we would never want this to happen, of course, and we're trying to, uh, we're fight, fighting against it. But right. in case you had, had a date, uh, how would you prepare for this? Event? Well, the case that I, that I have involved the death of a police officer, and not just a police officer, but a ranking police official, right? In, in Texas, they will let a child molester murderer off of death row before me. So from day one, I understood that my chances of living through this was slim to none. I have, I have hope and I have faith now, but my first four years on, on death row, I didn't have any hope of getting off of death row. So I dealt with it. I, I forced my family to deal with it. It hurt them, but I made them understand the reality of this situation I'm in. It's very serious, right? I dealt with, I dealt, I dealt with death in the mirror every time I woke up. 99, 2000, 2001, 2003. It wasn't until the, the last part of 2003 that I finally got a, just a glimmer of hope. That glimmer burns right now, but I dealt with dying a long time ago. Also, you have to realize the place I'm in now, spiritually, I'm very confident about my eternal future. I know I'm going to be in heaven with Jesus Christ for eternity, right? And so death holds no power for me. I don't fear death. If they kill me tomorrow, of course, I don't want to die here. But at the same time, I do not wish to spend the rest of my life in, in, in prison, right? So death is, is per preferable over, say, a life sentence that never allowed me to be, to, to be, to be free, right? I don't have any fear of, of death. And so you would prefer death to life sentence? I would. I was, I was offered a life sentence at my trial in 99, right? I rejected it, right? For me to sign for a life sentence means I have to plead guilty. I took a man's life, yes. I'm not guilty of capital murder. Legally, legally, I should not have ever been here because I'm not guilty of a crime that allows this for punishment, right? I would never sign that and plead guilty to save my life. To me, that's the equivalent of selling my soul. I don't want to be in, in prison. I'm sick of being locked, locked, locked up, right? It's not I can't deal with it. I do not like I hate it here. It's torture every, every day, no matter how good I get, how better I, I become, it's still torture for me. I hate being incarcerated. I hate not being able to give my little sister a hug and a kiss, my mom a hug, my dad a hug, my grandma a hug. I hate, I can't even shake my, shake my friend's hand, right? I hate this, right? This is constant, ongoing, consistent torture for me, right? And if I have two choices, which is a life sentence, which would never allow me to get free and, and death, I pick death every time because I know that what I have for me after, after death is a lot better than what I have now. I don't fear that, right, at all. I feel death holds no power over me, right? Unfortunately, so uh, can you, you want to tell something to Manuela while watching? Okay. All right. Manu, I want to thank you for coming to visit me, taking the time, the money, the energy to come and spend, spend time sitting with me, joking around, playing, having a good time, visiting me, right? Um, I really enjoyed it. I was entertained thoroughly. I was not just disappointed in any way. And I hope you feel the, the same way. Maybe if the cars fall right, one day we, one day we can do it, do it again, right? I look forward to seeing you next 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 Tuesday, and I hope you enjoy the state of the state of Texas. Thank you, Anthony. Would you All say right. anything to Italian people? Huh? Well, the the Italian people has all the Italian people has always been the people who reached out to me most. Most people I write have always come from Italy, right? So I feel that. In certain ways, I have a certain love from Italian people, right? Yes, your interview is evidence of that, right? I want to just thank y'all for being the way that y'all are and, and for caring about not just me, but us in general. 
when when the people in our own country, our fellow countrymen, could care less less about us, right? I thank y'all for being the way y'all are, right? Listen, uh, you had a laugh with Emanuela about Mike, please. Not being very black. Ah, she's I'm I'm black. She says I'm white. I'm not white. I'm black. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yes, thank you. Ciao. Y'all have a have, have a good time in Texas. And I appreciate y'all coming and interview me. All right. Thank you very much. Why y'all rushing me? Dobbiamo andare velocemente perché dobbiamo andare fuori, eh?